just going to tell it to everybody about what these guys are up to. Thanks, Jared. Sean, good luck. Thanks. How's everybody doing? I'm sure at this point in the day, everyone's uh, sagging a little bit. So I want to start off with a little bit of uh, audience participation. So who here has, um, I need to do the clicker. Who here has ever played an office pool? Just kind of raise hands. So pretty, uh, pretty ubiquitous. It's a lot of fun, right? So you play with other people, you have interaction, you get to see who's best at predicting across a number of events. So uh, let's talk about why that's fun. So the theory is that I think that if you look at pop culture, if you look at the kind of talking heads, or if you look at uh, stocks, pretty much anything, what we like to do is start to talk about what will happen. So that's the first step. We say, so in this case, a sports example, Pistons are going to win the game tonight. Then the game takes place. We see what actually happens, who was right, why, so on and so forth. Then the next day what happens is all the analysis. I was right, here's why I was right. And then you're going to ask, you know, you were wrong, here's why you were wrong. But that that informs back into the cycle. We start doing it all over again. So where does this happen? I, I, my theory as I started looking through this is pretty ubiquitous. So you got sports, you got award shows, the Academy Awards, the Oscars, the Tony, so on and so forth. Elections. I mean, right now you cannot turn on the TV without seeing some projection of what's going to happen in November. Stocks, um, you know, stock shows that you've got mad money. I mean, you've got an hour where a guy's screaming at you about what's going to happen in the market. And even the weather. So, you know, people actually watch the weather channel and they'd like to talk about why it happened or didn't happen. So, what we've done with Pick'em is we've essentially got a platform for people to create office pool type games on any event. And what's really unique about the business is that we let people do it for fun anywhere in the world. And we're a licensed gambling company and actually let people do it for money in the United Kingdom. So show you a little bit about Pick'em. So this, in the essence, what you want in an office pool type game is you want something that's really simple. You don't want odds, line, anything else. You want people to say, what's, I, here's what I think is going to happen. At the end of the day, the person who predicts best ends up winning the game. So here's an example. We've got a Pick'em. Uh, every Pick'em is created by someone. Johannes uh, is actually the host of this one. And it's uh, because this is part of the kind of UK initial focus, we've got a football match. How many goals are going to be scored? What's the result of the match going to be? And what's the winning margin? At the end, so this ends up, this is a lot more fun when it's social. You want to get your friends involved. So there's a natural vi uh, viral factor. And when you look at the money side, there's a natural network effect. Because as more people enter, the pot gets bigger, the more money you can actually win. So you make it very simple to challenge your friends. The, uh, the more people play, the more you can win, so whether that's bragging rights or money, there's a real incentive to challenge people. And also when you challenge people, you can see you know, who entered, who didn't enter, so on and so forth. So what we've done is, in, in terms of, it's great you can create these types of games. When you look at CBS sport, Sports Line every year with the NCAA tournament bracket, so on and so forth, there's a reason these games only happen around certain events, and that's because it's hard to build a platform that makes it so you could create it around anything. So we try to simplify that, try to make it where you can pick an event, you choose the things that you want to go into the pool. What are people going to predict? And then you publish out, you, know, you can then public personalize it and publish it out there. So a key part of the Pick'em platform is that we score all these games off of official data. So we pull data in, you can see how you did. So here's a Pick'em. I didn't really know what the hell I was talking about, because uh, I really don't know much about German football. Football, soccer, in that part of the world. Um, and so I didn't do very well. But then. When we're looking at everyone else, I actually did better than the rest of the crew, so I was a winner. The nice part about this game is there's always a winner. So unlike when you look at like fantasy sports books or things like that, here you've got competition, there's always going to be a winner, there's always going to be a reason to brag. So how do we make money? As I described, we essentially have two businesses. First business, betting business. We're a uh, licensed gambling operator. We have a license from Alderney, which lets us offer our, our game in the UK. And we take a percentage of every bet, so we take a small, bigger shout. We also have float on deposits when people put money in. <laughs> then the audience business, which is kind of a secondary thing for us, but it's still very interesting, is an opportunity for us to do, obviously, advertising, sponsorship, connect brands with audiences and events, which is something that's uh, very popular. We'll also have the ability to take a look at, if you're playing a pick -em for a particular event, and we know that you live in a certain uh, area, you might actually want to buy a ticket. So we can go to a stub hub or somewhere like that and try to cross sell. The team, uh, this is the second business I founded. And um, Johannes and I have done this before. We've built out a strong team. We managed to attract tier A investors, first round capital. And uh, Virgin USA is one of our investors. Virgin's great because we get US as well as UK support. 
Since we launched the business and we've raised money, we've obtained a gambler license, and actually just a month ago we launched into private beta. We've got people actually at this moment entering and playing for real money as well as playing for pickles. So going forward, the reason we're here and kind of what we're looking for, we're starting to look at a Series B. So unfortunately, in the gambling side of the business, it does cost a lot of money to start to get established and, and start to build momentum. And Although we don't have the liquidity issues of, say, a poker room or a sports book or, or a betting market like a bet fair, because they're paramutual games, you still have to get the first 10,000 people in and it starts to grow from there. Uh, we're looking to expand outside the UK as well as uh, to increase partnerships in the US. We really haven't done a US launch at this point at all. We, don't, we started with football, rugby. Um, we will be adding Major League Baseball. We've got US elections in there. So we're starting to add US content at the right time, we would go out into the US with marketing programs and start pushing the business out. So summing it up, I mean, we think we've got a game that's simple and fun. When we look at the audience, almost everyone here has played an office pool, so it's something that's ubiquitous. Um, it's very viral. When you play, you're going to send it to people who you'd like to play with. We've got a business model that's straightforward, clear partnership opportunities, um, and an experienced team. So that's what we're all about.